an open letter to everyone. Hi, this is Kuya Atom. At the start of one president's term, his administration has been considering whether or not to pursue nuclear power generation. What for? Out of curiosity, I turned to Juan Media for any nuclear energy news. Well, I was amazed with Juan Community's emergency food Nutribar and the rice substitute Adlai. There's also the globally approved quarantine treatment against mango pests, the wound dressing against emergency bleeding, the SIT against dengue mosquitoes, or even the isotope technique methods for resource, environment, and pollution management. By the power of the atom, thankfully everyone is empowered to food, health, economic, and environmental security. But what about energy security? Nuclear power generation is highly economical and reliable. It keeps the air clean and promotes global sustainable goals. It can also be the re-emerging renewable energy option for the realization of Philippines' ambition natin 2040. You see, I'm an avid fan of Juan Community, but here are some numbers I'm trying to figure out. The Philippines is the first ASEAN member state that has a non-operating nuclear power plant. Why it isn't operational yet is because of one community's concern on meeting the nuclear energy safety, security, and safeguard requirements. But with nuclear science and technology advancements, plus the operational experiences of one's friends, atomic power could be the key. As of October 2017, there are 448 operational nuclear reactors and 57 more under construction. The US has the most with 99, followed by France, Japan, then China. China, the newcomer of 1991, has 38, plus 19 more under construction. Meanwhile, the Philippines, that started much earlier, with nuclear options since 1958, has a fully paid nuclear power unit being maintained at an annual cost of 40 to 50 million pesos. Should we not address public confidence, commit to nuclear policies, and train for technical expertise? And get our act together. For one, sincerely, Kuya Atom.